hello lovely families welcome back and i hope you all are doing good today we are making some healthy and tasty zobo drink also known as hibiscus tea this is not your regular zobo recipe you honestly need to try this out i mean you need it in your life i'm going to be measuring the health benefit of hibiscus flour as we move along i've gotten here the hibiscus flour in my bowl to that i added some water into it I'm going to slightly wash them just to get rid of sand, stones, or any unwanted particles. You don't want to miss this step, it's very, very necessary. And just in case you are wondering where to buy this, you can check it at Kroger, Publix, Walmart, or any African store close to you. The tropical flowering plant hibiscus flower provides some health benefit that helps fight bacteria, it helps promote weight loss, it protects with antioxidant, fights inflammation and also lowers blood sugar. And you know what, hibiscus flower or zobo tastes absolutely delicious when nicely prepared. This hibiscus flower stores a lot of sand underneath so just be patient when washing it. So in total I washed it like 3 times. After washing add them into a clean pot and set it aside. I've got my ripe and sweet watermelon which I'm also going to wash properly. After washing, peel the watermelon and reserve the bag for later use. Add the watermelon rind into the clean flour. Next, add some clean water to it. The quantity of water depends on the quantity of hibiscus flour that you have. If you are making this at home for your personal consumption, it's totally different from someone making it for commercial purposes, if you know what I mean. So cover and allow to cook or boil for complete 3 to 5 minutes and once it starts boiling it might boil over. So I'm just going to show you a clip of what you should expect. So keep an eye on it so that you will not experience this. While that is cooking, I'm going to cut the watermelon according to the mouthpiece of my juicer. And if you don't have a juicer, you can also use your blender to achieve this. Just cut the watermelon into tiny bites. After cutting, pop them into your blender and blend smoothly. After blending, get a cheesecloth or a strainer and sieve it and you will achieve the same result. And do you know that the back of watermelon is the most healthiest part? 
because the bark contains high level of citrulline it also improves libido it keeps your skin healthy and it is very rich in potassium so don't throw the back of your watermelon away I also added some fresh ginger which I juiced alongside with the watermelon. You don't have to add ginger to yours if you don't like it. After juicing, I'm just going to put the watermelon juice in the fridge and allow it to rest until we are ready to use it. Five minutes later, the hibiscus flowers and watermelon rays are perfectly cooked and very soft. I'm just going to give it a gentle mix, then I will let it cool down for some minutes before straining it. So once it cools down, pour the hibiscus flower into a strainer. After straining the hibiscus flower, add the watermelon juice. Next, add some sugar as a sweetener. You can add more or less depending on how sweet you want your zobo to be. Mix very well so that the sugar and the watermelon juice can disintegrate real well into the zobo drink. You can drink it while it is still warm, but the best way to enjoy Zubo is drinking it when it is cold. Pour the Zubo drink into a bottle, transfer into your fridge. This is what you need for this summer. Like, you need this Zubo drink in your life. And if you find this video helpful, kindly share to those you love. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you find it helpful. See you all on my next one.